Imagine the vast unyielding blackness of space, where silence reigns supreme and every whisper from the stars carries the weight of eternity. What if in that infinite void a secret has just unfurled, one that could unravel the very fabric of our understanding? Something extraordinary has stirred beyond the grasp of our most powerful telescopes. An event so profoundly unsettling that it has NASA scientists huddled in dimly lit rooms, poring over data that defies logic, their faces etched with a mix of awe and dread. A probe, Voyager 1, hurled into the cosmos nearly 50 years ago, has now tangled with forces no human mind could have anticipated. And as you lean in to uncover this enigma, consider subscribing to the channel for more revelations that peel back the layers of the universe's hidden truths. Because what comes next might just change how you see the night sky forever. This isn't mere speculation. It's the echo of a contact that whispers questions into the dark. Did Voyager truly brush against something from another world, or did that something reach out first, its touch lingering like a shadow in the data streams? Voyager 1, that intrepid wanderer launched in 1977 to chart the distant realms of Jupiter and Saturn, was never meant to stop. Its mission complete, it slipped the bonds of our solar system, venturing into the interstellar abyss where no map exists and every signal is a gamble against the void. But now whispers from multiple sources, untraceable, insistent, suggest NASA has awakened dormant systems within the probe, coaxing it toward a silent rendezvous. Not a collision, but an alignment, a passive gaze fixed on an intruder from the stars. 3i Atlas, the third confirmed interstellar visitor to pierce our cosmic neighborhood. Discovered in July 2025, hurtling at over 150,000 miles per hour, 3i Atlas eclipses its predecessors, Oumuamua and 2i Borisov, in size, speed and sheer otherworldliness. Its path slices through space like a deliberate incision, and Voyager's once-fixed trajectory, subtly nudged ever so gently by faint pulses from Earth's deep space network. No brute force turning of the craft, just a recalibration of its weary instruments, aimed precisely at the shadow where Three-Eye Atlas would glide by. If this holds true, Voyager has transformed from relic to sentinel, our first unwitting ambassador straining to eavesdrop on a stranger from another sun. But why now? Why this object, this moment? The alignment feels too precise, too laden with unspoken intent, as if the stars themselves conspired to draw them together. Just days after three I, Atlas entered the faint fringe where Voyager's sensors might catch a whisper, a proximity so tenuous it mocks our earthly measures. Earth's magnetosphere trembled. Not the familiar fury of a solar flare, but a subtle quiver, ripples cascading through the electromagnetic veil like echoes from a distant bell. Instruments worldwide registered spikes, their needles dancing to a rhythm that pointed not inward, but outward toward the endless black. As if a signal had been hurled into the void and returned, altered alive with purpose. NASA, tight-lipped as ever, denies any link, but murmurs from the Jet Propulsion Laboratory paint a different picture. Voyager's logs brim with anomalous noise, patterns that scoff at cosmic static or stellar whispers. These aren't random flickers. They're deliberate, insistent, strong enough to pierce the probe's fading power. Panic simmers in those control rooms because such clarity demands response. Not from a lifeless rock tumbling through the cold, but from something that senses, that replies. Three Eye Atlas, hurtling silent and swift, might not be adrift. It could be attuned, waiting for the right ear to turn its way. What secrets does it guard? And why does the mere thought of its awareness send chills through the spines of those who chase the stars? Rewind to the 1980s, when Voyager's high-gain antenna was forged to beam back visions of swirling storms on gas giants, its protocols etched in code, meant for a finite journey. Those circuits were relics by the 2020s, their hum fading into obsolescence. Yet engineers in shadowed sessions confessed to quiet interventions, pulses arcing across 14 billion miles to tweak and mend. But here's the pivot that upends everything, a transmission faint and focused, beamed toward Three-Eye Atlas during that narrow window of alignment. What returned wasn't echo or interference, but symmetry, bursts of signal marching in lockstep, too ordered for chaos, too rhythmic for chance. Picture it, a probe cries out into the abyss and the darkness hums back a cadence precise and probing, 
defying every law of astrophysics we hold dear. Is this data encoded in waves we can't yet read? A tongue from another world tasting our curiosity? Or merely the universe's cruel jest, a pattern too intricate to dismiss? Sleep eludes the analysts now, their screens glowing with questions that multiply like shadows at dusk. Each replay of the logs deepens the unease. What if this rhythm isn't coincidence, but the first note in a symphony we never composed? And then the chill deepens, threading through time itself. This trajectory, this dance of paths, isn't virgin ground. Millennia ago, builders of Machu Picchu and Gobekli Tepe carved their stones to mirror solstice arcs that now align eerily with Three Eye Atlas's inbound arc. The probability of mere happenstance? Vanishingly small, a whisper lost in cosmic wind, layer in the ancient scrolls, tales of star wanderers, erratic lights that mocked planetary strolls blazing brief and brilliant before vanishing into myth, and a tapestry emerges, frayed but foreboding. Were these fables or warnings etched in enduring rock? Did our forebears glimpse these intruders, mapping their arcs for us, the inheritors blind to the signs? Voyager 1, that modern arrow loosed into the night, may have traced a route foretold over 11,000 years past, stumbling into a crossroads the elders already charted. Modern minds recoil at the implication. We've been watched, perhaps, long before we learned to watch back. The terror lies not in the unknown, but in the realization that the unknown might already know us. Ten days after that hushed proximity, when Voyager and Three Eye Atlas brushed the edge of each other's realms, a phantom archive materialized on a fortified server, haunt of SETI dreamers and stargazers. Dubbed Echo Refraction 67, these files, raw, unfiltered, purported to capture Voyager's magnetometer whispers and plasma size. At first they masqueraded as clutter, voltage veering wild and wayward. But savants working in silos across oceans, unleashed Fourier transforms and pattern hunts, and from the noise arose a spectre, a harmonic loop, coiling every 19.7 minutes, recursive and relentless. Not static structure, but evolution, self-mending, sharpening its edge against Voyager's worn reception, as if pleading for clarity. Nature abhors such finesse. This defies her every decree. Was it mimicry, a mirror held to our probe? Or intent, a mind or mechanism, bending to bridge the gulf? Alarms blared then, silent but seismic. NASA's AI sentinel Serena stirred from slumber, her protocols for non-human logics aflame. The very guardian against extraterrestrial overtures had blinked, declaring this no earthly errancy. In that instant the veil thinned. What listens in the dark and why does it yearn to be heard? Voyager 1 drifts propulsionless, a ghost in the machine, yet its gyroscopes and antennae linger pliable to Earth's distant tugs. But on August 1, 2025, the ether crackled with anomaly. Amateur trackers, eyes glued to telemetry feeds, spied a sly pivot in the probe's bearing. A few degrees unbidden, monumental in the mileages of deep space. Stranger still, this tilt ignored Three Eye Atlas's echo, swiveling instead toward a forecast path weeks unwritten, as if Voyager divined the visitor's next feint, a grandmaster in the game's unseen folds. JPL voices soothed with tales of network hiccups, but memos smuggled into light betray deeper disquiet. The shift preceded any command, blooming autonomous in the black. Malfunction then orchestrated to perfection? Or a distant hand unseen guiding the pawn? Two roads diverge here, each shadowed, breakdown or dominion, and the latter whispers of controls beyond our ken, puppeteering our pioneer from afar, while Voyager twisted in silent solitude, ground-bound scopes, cloaked in infrared and ultraviolet shrouds, beheld oddities encircling Three-Eye Atlas. Interlopers like Umuamua tumbled predictable, exhaling ghosts of gas, their glow stuttering to spin's whim. But Three-Eye Atlas? It throbbed, its luminance winking in binary breath, on-off in cadence with Voyager's final pulse. Eerie escalation, velocity waned, not tugged by gravity's grasp or vented fumes, but braked by invisible rains. Dismissed by NASA as Parallax's phantom, yet corroborated by sentinels in Europe and South America, the slackening stood firm. History's first, an interstellar nomad reigning its rush and only post-Voyager's gaze. Coincidence or retort? The air thickens with the unasked. Did our probe stare provoke this pause inviting reply from the rogue? 
aboard Voyager rides the golden record, that gilded missive, melodies, murmurs, vistas of our blue marble, crafted to hail any cosmic kin. Yet buried in its grooves lurk unrevealed layers, coordinates veiled, quantum cartographies, temporal riddles spiralled in analog hush. Now cryptographers in a European enclave unearth more, a tonal phantom woven beneath avian trills, thunders roar, human tread. Inaudible to flesh but amplified, it yields primes in procession, harmonizing with three eye atlases intercepted throbs. Did we see the summons unwittingly, a beacon to rouse the dormant? And if three eye atlas heeds that hum, then our dispatch was no soliloquy but dialogue, stellar script exchanged in numeric grace.